Hi guys, I'm Lisa from Simple Story Solutions and I'm going to tell you today about a couple key mistakes people make when it comes to marketing themselves as a personal brand or their company and their product. And I work with startups and individuals, coaches and consultants all the time and I see this over and over and over again and I keep repeating myself so I thought put it in a blog, put it in a video and then you can send it to people, right? So that they can hear this for themselves. And it is a hard concept at first to understand, but once you get it deep down, it makes sense and you can use it over and over and over again on your website, in your marketing, in your emails, and your lead generators. So one of the things I wanna talk about is the difference between what a customer wants and what you offer. Now, in your mind as the business owner or the brand or the coach or the consultant, what you offer is exactly what everybody needs, right? It's exactly what they want and you have a three-step program and you're gonna change their life or your product's gonna change their life, when really they're looking for one or two really key things that they think they need. And I'm gonna repeat myself on that. A customer thinks they know what they need. Now you as the professional, you have a better idea. You've been doing this for a while. You know what, you, you know what they need, okay? And it's a difference between what they think they need and what you offer. And honestly, I see this over and over again, where on a website or in a marketing material, the, 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 the company or the brand, hey, I do this, I do this, I do this, I offer this, I, all these amazing things. And the customer's like, no, nah, I don't think I need all that. When deep down, you know, and if they were to be honest with themselves, they know they need a lot more than what they're asking for. Let me give you an example, okay? I'm a copywriter. I help people put words on a website. And so when people come to me and they say, hey, can you help me revamp my website? Can you help me? I don't know what to say on my website. I'm like, yeah, I can help you, no problem. But it, I do a whole lot more than that, right? So when I work with my clients, that is just like one little aspect of what we do. It's kind of the end product. Because I ask them two questions and oftentimes they fall apart. They literally, they crumple. I'm like, okay, so tell me who your ideal customer is or tell me what you're offering. And they're like, Ugh. I said, so maybe you need to clarify what you're doing first, right? And create a process and identify who your customer is. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I need that. Now, if they had come to me and, and or I had said to them, oh, these are all the things you need to work with me. They're like, no, 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 I just need words on a website, right? So that's a good example of helping people understand what they think they need versus what you offer. And so I just wanted to share with you um, four takeaways or four points that you need to keep in mind when you're considering what you are writing on your website, your emails, your marketing, you know, this can be applied anywhere, okay? So the first thing is that you need to name their problem, the problem they think they have. When they get to your site and they scroll down like, oh my gosh, they can solve my problem. So one of the things I have on my website is copywriting is hard. Hello, copywriting is hard. I, it's even hard for me, okay? But copywriting is hard. Uh, do I do more than copywriting? Of course I do. <laughs> That's like the smallest thing I do for people. But when I say copywriting is hard, and as a business owner, sometimes you don't have the ability or the time to do it, and I will help you write copy for your website. They're like, she can solve my problem. Literally, it's like it brings the walls down inside or, or they, they're, they're concerned and like, okay, she can help me. So name their problem clearly, the problem they think they have, okay? Not what you think they should have, but the thing they have, okay? Number two is you need to put your story second who you are, how awesome you are, you know, that your grandfather built the company, that you've been in business 25 years, all of those things do not go at the top. They don't even go in the middle. They kind of go somewhere down near the bottom, okay? So you need to remember to put your story second. In story brand world, which is one well, with certified story brand guide, um, the, uh, the story goes customer or the character or the hero has a problem. Those are the first two things you need to talk about. And then the guide shows up on the scene to help them with a plan, okay? So the guide part is you and your story. So it's not first, might be second, maybe third, okay? Um, the third thing you need to remember is to always focus on their pain. We tend to, as business owners, want to talk about our solution and how we're going to help them. 
and uh, really all the things that you can do, your technology, your systems, your processes, all the things you can do. Um, but the truth is if you focus on their pain and you stir it up enough, or I like to say poke the pain, if you can poke the pain enough and then you offer them a solution, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I need you. Whatever, whatever your solution is, however you can help me, sign me up. I'm in. Okay? So remember to focus on the pain. And I don't mean to like be fear-based. That's not the point of this. The point is to really just say, hey, we know how hard it is. We know this is really difficult for you. I'm sure you're feeling this way. So talking about their pain. And the last thing, one of the last takeaways, there's lots more than four, but I'm just kind of keeping it to four. The fourth way is to give them a simple way to solve their problem. Okay, not that they have to sign up for this, 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 and this with you, or they have to jump through all these hoops or blah, blah, blah. Give them a very simple call to action. So that may be the form of a button, right? That's this idea of like, get started, make progress, take a step. Here's the first and easiest thing you need to do to start to alleviate your pain. Okay, and so you as the person who's writing the copy or the website or the email or the marketing, make it simple for them to say yes. Simple for them to get started. Uh, come to a free class. Have a discovery call. Um, you know, uh, uh, answer this question, these quizzes, whatever it may be. Just make it simple for them so that they don't have to jump through too many hoops. All right. Just to reiterate, okay, because it's very easy to forget. What they think they have a problem and what you offer are two different things. And you need to really carefully balance that or walk the line of being able to talk to them about what their initial or their acute or their immediate problem is and how you can help them with that. And then you open the door to be able to tell them all the other things that you're going to be able to help them with and how you're going to add value. I hope that's helpful. If it is, will you pass this on to somebody that might be able to use this? Um, I'm working on growing my business and my brand, and I love helping people. Um, if this video helps you, you know, make a move, awesome. If you're like, oh my God, now I really need help, get in touch, right? We can just have a quick chat, or it might be something where I can help you with yours. Um, and so I really appreciate you watching.